teleport in front of them, drop the ice crystal. Boom. Look at that grace. I mean, look at that. We literally just killed their whole team right there. What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be showcasing the power of a six-piece grace set as well as the four-piece version in this video. We're going to see if it's actually worth it to go farm for it. Let's get into it. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go over the grace set effect that we're testing today and then showcase what it looks like in the game. So the four piece version is going to deal an additional 5K damage every single time we strike an enemy five times. And then the six piece version is going to deal a huge lightning strike AOE dealing 30,000 damage Every single time we hit, we have a 4% chance to activate this, and it's going to stun for one second, but it has an internal cooldown of 40 seconds, which is a pretty long cooldown. I'm going to go ahead and move myself back over here, and what we have here is when we're attacking, we're going to just basically hit a bunch of people. I'm actually going to go ahead and swap my basic over, so we're only hitting one time uh, each, and right here, we're just going to keep attacking, and right there, you can see that big blue light from the sky that is the four piece set effect version um, and that right there the big lightning strike that came down from the sky that was the six piece set version to go ahead and showcase the four piece version once again the blue lights from the sky are the four piece hitting for damage and then i'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead here so we can get the cooldown over we're gonna hit here just a couple of times and see if we can get the big aoe lightning strike right there that was the big lightning strike, and I'll replay that for you here in slow motion so you can see it. So now that we know what the actual set effect looks like and what it is inside the game, let's go over how much damage this is actually doing compared to some of our skills. And so if we check out Disintegrate here, which we have the Fiery Beam version, we can see that it's going to deal 4.7k each tick and it ticks about twice a second and then it's going to deal an additional 5k over two seconds so basically what this means is every single time a grace of the flagellant procs uh the four piece version it's going to deal that additional disintegrate tick each time keep in mind that basically what this means is if we're doing two ticks per second that means we're gonna have to have two and a half seconds before we proc a hit from the grace hit just from the disintegrate itself, um, which means that every single time we are going to hit that grace set, well, that means we're gonna deal an additional 5K damage, which means roughly, since it's 5,000 damage and we're dealing 25,000 damage before it procs, we are dealing an additional 20% damage on top of the fiery disintegrate beam. Now, keep in mind that this has no cooldown. So basically what this means is we're getting anywhere, depending on what skill you're using, on the wizard specifically, a 15 to 30% damage increase depending on what skill you're using. Like for example, if I'm using the Ray of Frost, you could see that it's dealing 3.1 thousand damage per hit, which is significantly lower than the Disintegrate Beam, and so it's gonna deal more damage than we previously would have said. So this is a huge damage increase in just the four piece version. Now, if we're you know, figuring out the six piece version, we can see that we're gonna deal 30K damage, which is basically that 2.5 seconds of damage as a burst damage, but it only happens every 40 seconds. So really, we're not getting a crazy amount of damage from the six piece version where we're talking about PVE content, because when you're open world farming, when you're doing dungeons, you really don't have that many times to proc it. Let's just say you're running a Mad King's run, you could get uh, to that first boss fight and you may proc it before that boss hits. Well, guess what? You're gonna have to wait another 40 seconds and you're not gonna proc it on the boss and so you may proc it on some random monster that you're running through, you don't need to kill, and it's honestly a little awkward. The thing that I really want to test here, though, because I've already established here that we're getting about a 15 to 30% damage increase from Grace of the Flagellant in PvE content, and I'll go ahead and just showcase what that means here, um, and showcase what that looks like when we don't have a four-piece Grace set versus what we do have a four-piece Grace set, and then we'll go ahead and jump into PvP and test the six-piece version, because I think that's really where the advantage is. All right, so right here, I ended up recording the both versions of the two-piece grace and the four-piece grace set. The goal was to go ahead and hit this boss down to about four million, um, and then we were gonna time each run, of course, from the full HP down to four million, and then see the difference. I'll go ahead and just play this right here. I try to go ahead and keep my combos as consistent as possible. Uh, it is 
of course not the perfect test as everything is and the game does have a little bit of varying damage but uh, i would just say that most of the time it's going to go ahead and vary itself into uh, relative consistency when you're doing a test over the course of about two minutes now as i mentioned earlier you're going to get about a 15 to 20 percent damage increase under the you know condition that we are getting that fifth proc of damage every single hit based on the disintegrate ray that's not necessarily true entirety because the arcane wind that i'm using actually does more damage than the disintegrate ray so it's not quite about a 15 percent damage increase because i'm not purely using the disintegrate ray However, it is a decent increase in damage. You can see here at the top, uh, we're at about 8.1 uh, million. At the bottom, we're at 7.6 million about this point. So we're already, you can already see the clear difference versus the two sets. Now, obviously you could argue, well, we're not debating whether or not the actual set itself is good. We're debating which set is better between this set and some other options out there. And that will be a future video. Uh, for this one, I just wanna talk about how empowering powerful uh, the actual set itself is so we're getting close to about that four million mark and as you're getting close you can see that the bottom screen uh, is actually getting way way closer to four million than the top screen it's almost about a million in the lead in terms of damage and you can easily see the gray set proc on it when the side ads kind of spawn uh, and the grace hits them from the sky. Uh, right here, you can see that the first version of the healing of the Blood Rose happened and I tried to avoid it and I didn't get hit by it at all. So I didn't heal the Blood Rose. So that didn't really change anything in terms of the damage. Because if you do get hit, you can see here uh, that it will absolutely change everything. And at the bottom, I froze the screenshot because it was about two minutes and four seconds and then a little bit about half a second after that. And at the top, you can see we're still going for that extra damage here and getting to that 4 million mark. And then we're going to end it about that 2 minute 25 second mark, I believe. Uh, actually, right there is when it stops. That's the 2 minute 22 second mark. And you can see the difference between the two. So the bottom one ended up getting to 4 million uh, HP 18 seconds quicker. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, 2 minutes is 120 seconds. Add the 20 seconds in there. Well, that puts you at 140 seconds which means 18 seconds is about that 15% mark. So pretty accurate in terms of, you know, estimation in the beginning. And then you could see here the reality, the actual testing, it kind of reflected what we said at the very beginning. So now that we know the uh, four piece gray set is very very solid and does give you that really really solid damage increase we're going to be going and testing the six piece version in pvp now i do want to mention a few caveats for the four piece gray set that we just tested um the first thing is we do absolutely uh have to factor in depending on what class you're playing the more classes that hit more often the more actual procs you're going to get from grace and it could be better uh on the side note the more classes that hit less but do higher damage you're going to get less procs and less damage from it so that could really really be heavily a factor overall it's a very very good set for classes that are hitting so many times per second all right, here we are. We are going into our battleground here, running a standard black hole ray of frost control build. The goal here is just to jump on people and just showcase the grace six piece set in PVP. Uh, I want to see how impactful it could be maximum potential. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to be playing as perfect or, you know, kind of keeping track of my positioning as amazing as I possibly can. And the main reason for that is I'm trying to get in there, trying to go ahead and showcase it on the screen for you guys. So I'm not going to be playing from two screens away, which, you know, is arguably what you're going to want to do as the wizard. So we're going to see, we might just teleport on these guys uh, as they're approaching. And I think it's exactly what we're going to do. Dro teleport in front of them, drop the ice crystal. Boom. Look at that grace. I mean, look at that. We literally just killed their whole team right there. That was insane. Uh, and then we're going to get away from them. Um, we're going to just drop the freeze right here. There's the freeze on these guys. And we're going to jump this way and then just avoid them. Looks like they're a little bit mad at us. So, uh, you know, we're going to drop the freeze ray over here and then see if we can get a freeze on this guy. Going to hit him with the black hole here and then drop the ice crystal. I'm not sure why, how he got out of my black hole right there, but, you know, I guess it happens. Um, that was a little strange. Uh, we're going to teleport onto the health globe here and then just freeze these guys again. Uh, I guess not. Looks like they're going to be continuously chasing us here. 
Well, that guy teleported out of my black hole, so I guess that happens. But uh, really, that was really impactful at the beginning there. We basically controlled the entire fight uh, with that grace, with the freeze, with the black hole. Drop the... Ooh, look at that grace hit. Jeez, that almost one-shot these guys from that single hit. We're going to try to freeze this one again. Um, looks like uh, we have a Crusader on top of us, and their whole team is here. Um... Okay, <laughs> still pretty solid in terms of grace hit. We proc the gladiator on that guy. Once again, I don't know what my team is doing here. There's like literally six people fighting a single monk. Uh, what is going on, guys? Um, but let's just actually fight them here. <laughs> uh, looks like an invisible necro pillar. Always love to see that. I'm gonna drop the ice crystal here and uh, do some ray of frost shenanigans. There we go. We got uh, someone down into the gladiator. There's the Grace proc right there. You can see that huge chunk of damage. This guy's a 3K. They got a couple 3K players on their team already. Um, I already saw a Necro. Here's a Wizard. This guy's literally just AFK. I don't know what's going on, even though he's so, so tanky. Try to activate the idol here. Uh, let's just jump on this guy. Let's drop the Black Hole and then drop the Ice Crystal and then see if we can do some big damage. Looks like that guy, because they're a monk, they could just avoid my CC. And again, I'm not sure what's going on uh, in this game. I'm not sure how our whole team, maybe they're just residence is too high and then they have to have a couple people deal with a few people. Um, that kind of makes sense. Hopefully we can do something here with our with our team. Uh, we're gonna drop the black hole. Looks like that guy completely avoided it. Um, we're gonna drop the ice crystal and then do some big freezes here. Can't really see the grace proc here. You can see how impactful the wizard is, though. That 3k wizard just froze our entire team. Um, we're going to try to teleport away here. Teleport again. Maybe get the shield going. Looks like uh, we got interrupted or something here. Drop the black hole. Maybe get some nice freezes going. Looks like we got everyone there, and we proc everyone's gladiator. We've done that, like, three or four times now, and we still can't win. I'm not sure what... Uh, I'm not sure if our team is just completely outmatched in this case um, or what's going on, but there's another gladiator proc. We've proc pretty much everyone's gladiator here uh, on the enemy team. Let's see. Can we do some big damage here? Not sure. Ended up dying. Uh, I don't know. I think we're just going to be stuck here. I think that their residence is too high or, or I'm not sure what my team is able to do here. I don't think we have the damage or, or what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, Again, I'm not going to be playing a, a super control, you know, two screens back type of player. There's the Grace proc. Look at that big damage. There's another Gladiator proc here. And, I mean, we have literally proc uh, pretty much everyone's Gladiator at, Gladiator at this point. So, not sure. Like, our, our, our team's just not hitting anyone because we cannot get through these guys. Every single time I go in, I have to deal with, like, four or five Gladiators. Here's another one. There's our kill there. Deal with this Monk here. That's fine. They're going to drop the black hole. Looks like they kind of canceled the animation here. Looks like this guy's on top of me. Well, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Uh, we're, we're, there's another gladiator proc on the satyr. Let's see what we can do here. It's taking them forever to deal with this guy. There's literally five people on that crusader, and we barely were able to kill this. So let's just teleport on these guys, drop the ice crystal. Big damage. There's our grace hitting again. Looks like we're just getting infinitely knocked up. This is another loss here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one, uh, to be honest. We just cannot get out of the base. Uh, we just don't have the damage, I guess, because every single time I come out, we try to deal with them. But the grace is actually doing a ton of work. Every single time our grace is proc, we've pretty much been able to get people into their uh, gladiator gladiators here. Drop the black hole and try to deal with them. There's another gladiator proc here. We have the Crusaders with their uh, inv invulnerability. We're going to drop the freeze rate again. There's another Gladiator proc. Try to freeze everyone. Um, and we're trying to do what we can here. Uh, there's the Phoenix Ashes proc. I mean, there's there's the Barb Immunity proc. And then let's try to freeze this guy again. It looks like our Gladiator's proc. And we're frozen. We just got frozen in the Gladiator. I really wish that was not a thing. I really wish you cannot be hit by things in Gladiator. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We try to do our best. There are, isn't really a crazy amount that we can do here. Uh, to be honest, like, we're doing as much damage as we possibly can. And there's the freeze on this guy. Falpanks is incredibly strong here. I'm going to go ahead and try to freeze this guy again. Really hard to deal with these monks in 1v1. But look at that grace damage right there. Uh, try to freeze this one. 
Uh, looks like they're immune to control, and we just cannot win the 1v1 against monks. Uh, it's too difficult when they have that much uh, CC immunity on top of having mount banks. We try, uh, but we're not built for a 1v1 with this, uh, this build. So really, really impactful, though. The Grace did a ton of damage, and it does do a ton of damage overall. I really, really like it. I think that my overall thoughts as we're wrapping up this match here, look at this big freeze, getting everyone here. Double kill and a gladiator proc, double gladiator proc in this case. Um, let's try to finish off that one. There's another kill. Try to get this wizard here. At the end of the day, I think that the PvP six piece is incredibly good. And for PvE, I would definitely stick to a four piece and then try to run another different two piece uh, to kind of get more value. Thing is, uh, we have to figure out what that two piece would be. And the question is, is this set better than the Vithu set in four piece? Or is Vithu's four piece just better for PvE content? I'll be testing that in a future video because that is a whole, it, in, you know, it's, it's whole testing. We need a whole testing field for that. Look at the Mount Bank set, by the way, which is another thing I would need to test, but it's literally proc like three times as we've just been fighting. Absolutely absurd set here. It's crazy how tanky this guy is just from the Mount Bank set. Another great one to run in PvP if you are going to run PvP. Overall, run the six-piece gray set if you are PvPing out there. For PvE, stick to the four-piece gray set. I think that the damage isn't worth running. You're only going to get that proc every 40 seconds. It's too long of a cooldown to run in PvE. We'll see, though. We're going to be testing the four-piece Vithus and the four-piece gray soon. So if you want to check out that video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, as we're ending here, let's just check out these players here and check out the enemies. This wizard was 4K Resonance Wizard. We had the monk here. This was a 1800 resonance monk and another monk here. This one was almost 3k resonance. All pretty strong players uh, overall. We tried to do our best we could. We didn't have the damage to the rest of our team, so we couldn't really finish off the fight. But the grace really did come in handy. Whenever we got a kill, it was pretty much always due to the grace set proccing. So I really, really like it in PvP, and I'll probably continue to use it, to be honest. So there's my final thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about grace set in the comment section down below. Have you had a different experience? Do you prefer another set? Again, one thing I want to mention before we end, it'll be different for every class. So keep that in mind when you're going through, and I will see you for the next video.